Welcome back to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. And just before we wrap up, our next conversation is once again on a strike. The Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics, ASUP, is on strike. And just like the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, at a meeting with the federal government yesterday, the Minister of Education, Adamo Adamo, promised that the government is committed to resolving all issues that have led to the nationwide strike. Let's listen to him. I can just assure you that some of the things you said could have been handled by the council. The president has approved the council for all the polytechnics, and I think we are just waiting for this, this type of break to pass. I believe they will be released immediately. Once again, I would like to thank you very much, and I assure you all these 13 points will be looked into carefully, and I believe you will be called for the meeting of the Rapid Reform Committee in the shortest possible time. I give you my assurance that you will all be attended to the dispatch. This track just started. Uh, it's just a few hours old. And what happened here today is the commencement of a process of resolution of the issues. And so until the issues are resolved to the satisfaction of the members of our union, as represented by the National Executive Council of the Union, we cannot be talking about suspension of a strike. The issues are there before the government. As early as they can be resolved, then uh, our members will get back to their duty posts. And welcome back. It's uh, yet another conversation about a strike. And, you know, quickly note that the Academic Staff Union of Universities is also threatening to once again, you know, yes. return to their strike. Um, the National Association of Resident Doctors is on strike. Uh, judiciary staff, I struggle with that word. Judiciary, judiciary staff, staff Union, Union of, of Nigeria. Nigeria. Jusun. Jusun <laughs> so many abbreviations. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, it, 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 you know, and that's one of the things that I asked the uh, senior news editor earlier. You know, it, if it seems like the whole country, you know, is shutting down, everybody is angry, everybody feels, um, you know, unattended to, and, you know, is calling for a strike. Uh, the Minister of Labor, Chris Ngege, has done more of negotiating with striking workers, you know, in the time that he has been minister than he has actually been, you know, Minister of Labor and, you know, representing Labor. Yes. Um, um, and um, do they all have reasons for their strike? Do they all have grievances? Everybody's yes. saying one thing. Whether it's not, whether it's the judicial workers, whether it's ASU, whether it's lecturers of polytechnic universities, they all have one concern, non-implementation of agreements. It still baffles me how the government who should be, you know, well trusted would have, you know, the government to sit with you, draft an MOU, draft agreement, and then they end up, you know, doing nothing about it. it. It just baffles me. That's what they're, they're fighting about. They're saying that uh, the federal government has failed to implement the 2014 needs report and uh, the non-release of revitalization funds to the sector, despite assurances since the, since the year 2017. Non-payment of salary arrears, non-constitution of governing councils. They also complain of victimization. Now, this is something very important when you talk about polytechnics in Nigeria. They're complaining that they're being victimized, that even certificates, you know, by polytechnic graduates no are being, you know, non-recognized. You see, they've been pushing for a recognition of, you know, their certificates just as BSc holders. They're saying people in polytechnics basically get the technical training and that universities, they basically teach them theory and that they should even be more recognized than uh, university, uh, you know, students or university graduates. They're also saying that... Uh, if you don't support polytechnics, you're, ba polytechnics, you're basically killing industries in Nigeria. And if you support polytechnics, you're creating employment. So there's this you know, concern, basically. They, they listen to all the demands, and, and ASAP is threatening to shut down all polytechnics in Nigeria if the federal government continues to you know, do what they do, which is to renege when they have reached agreements. So... <laughs> I, I, I think one of the things that uh, Gide Johnson, I believe, had mentioned in one of our conversations with him was, you know, the fact that he doesn't also agree that there should be so many unions across the country who just wake up in the morning and decide to shut down, even if they have grievances with the government and they have, you know, genuine reasons for wanting to shut down. But I've never heard of, you know, uh, polytechnic or university lecturers in the UK or in Canada deciding to go on strike. You know, there but they is, do you know, have unions one, anyway. Yes, they have unions. Because um, I think they have a system that's, that's working. Yes. You know, and at the same time, there's also um, uh, the conversation about how important 
we really place these a part of our of our country. How important is education? How important is healthcare? How, how important is, is the judiciary to the Nigerian government at every time? The amount of money that we spend on the National Assembly alone every year runs into billions. Do we spend that same amount or you know similar or even more on education or on healthcare or on security? I mean, I mean if only we would take them as seriously as we take the National Assembly and the funding for the National Assembly, mm -hmm. maybe we wouldn't have all these issues. Um, and of course, you mentioned negotiating before, and and you know, and um, you know, going back on those okay. um, uh, uh, agreements. Let's uh, welcome um, Yekini uh, Asafe, is a zonal coordinator of ASUP. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Mr. Asafe. Good morning, sir. All right. Um, we, we were just having a conversation about the you know, issues that you, uh, your group has or uh, your body has with the federal government. Uh, share with us you know, how bad this really is and why you think uh, it is time for a strike. Yeah, thank you very much. You see, the issue we have ASUP, with federal government and the state government has been on ground for almost a year now. In fact, some have even stayed long since 2014. But the emergent one includes the following. Long reconstitution of governing council in the Federal Polytechnic and the state-owned Polytechnic since May last year. That implied that in all Polytechnic, especially Federal Polytechnic in Nigeria, there is no echelon of decision-making. As a result, if I say, you know, the rector or the principal management of the school that their tenure has expired, there is no way they can appoint another one because the process has to be taking place in the you know, event of the presence of the governing council of the institution. So as a result, the promotion cannot be done for our members and some other activities cannot be done. Then another thing is the plan of the Accountant General of the Federation to deduct over 90 billion naira on the pretext of recovering purported pay as you hand tax liability from 19 Federal Polytechnic, which is not acceptable to us. You see, we don't understand what the government is trying to do by using, you know, the masses to generate funds that they are not even spending for the betterment of this country. How can you say that we have found, you know, tax for up to 19 billion naira? Sorry, 198 billion naira. And you want to deduct that one from our, you know, money? Is it because we are not paying, you know, tax before? So we are on that. Okay. Your regulatory and standardization policy are seen in appointment of unqualified people as directors in some institutions, especially in state institutions, where you have a principal lecturer being appointed as director of institution against the crop of chief lecturer. That cannot happen in the universities. Okay, Mr. Shafer. And the government are just keeping on looking. Mr. Shafer, I just want you to... Um um, explain clearly what ASUP means when it's alleged that polytechnics and polytechnic education in Nigeria is being discriminated against and victimized. I can't hear you clearly. Can you hear me now? Hello? Can you hear me, Mr. Shafe? Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing you now. I said, could you kindly explain to us what ASUP means when it says that polytechnics and polytechnic education in Nigeria is being victimized and discriminated against? Yes. The polytechnic education in Nigeria is being victimized. The government is not doing the needful. Since 2014, we have what you call need assessment to look into the you know, institution across the nation and see the infrastructure deficit. And up to now, a single cobble has not been popped into the polytechnic sector. So that's all the level of neglect of the polytechnic sector in Nigeria by the current government. So how resolute is ASUP to basically shut down all polytechnics in Nigeria? Well, that's one of you know comments since yesterday, and we are waiting for the government to do the needful. Right. Just yesterday, the government called our national leaders you know, to the meeting, and delegation was led by Mr. President. So in their usual manner, they are begging that we should go back to the classroom without addressing our need. Government right. council is there. They have not set that one up. Minimum wage area is there. They have not paid us that one for almost 10 months. Then in some state institution in Nigeria, 
you could imagine the kind of exorbitant you know, fees that they are charging because the government of some of these institutions are asking the management to pay salary of workers from IGR, internally generated revenue. And this is another burden to the parents of these, you know, students. All right. And um, this I mean, cannot, Ms. you know, Ms. improve Ms. the standard of education at all. Mr. Jaffe, unfortunately, um, we, we, we need to wrap up here. Uh, we will invite you again, of course, to have an, another conversation about this. And, of course, uh, if uh, the Minister of Education, Adamo Adamo, still has uh, uh, further steps that need to be taken, we would like to have you both here. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thanks again. You're welcome. All right. That's where we wrap things up on The Breakfast this beautiful mm. Wednesday morning, 7th of April. Beautiful wish you... striking Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God there's no real like... thunder striking. <laughs> We'd like to wish you all a very interesting day at uh, ahead. And of course, if you missed out on any of these conversations, join us on our social media platforms at Plus TV Africa, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our YouTube channel. I am Osao Gye Ogmon. And I am Aneta Felix. Have a great day.